Welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at lightning, some of the components that we use to build our balsa models. Now for me, I'm building this King Combat, it's about the third time I've built it, and I want to lighten some of the components, particularly the ribs and the fins, because there's a little bit of friendly rivalry with a fellow club mate who's got one of these as to whose is the fastest. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I think his is probably just getting the edge on mine. So anyway, I'm going to cut out some lightning holes in these ribs. These are identical symmetrical ribs that I made and there was a, a recent video when I showed the technique I used to make identical ribs and if you want to see that the, uh, the link for that video is in the description below. So as I said we're going to be cutting some lightning holes in these ribs and how I find the best way to do it. But I'm also going to be lightening some other structures I've got like wing tips and these two fins. A lot easier on these but there's a little bit more to think about on these wing ribs. So we'll take a closer look. Well I've got the ribs that I've just made and I've got some terminal ribs here I'm not going to touch and some central ribs for the radio bay I'm not going to touch. It's mainly these ribs that are going to be in the center of the wing on either side. So there's six of them and they're 116 balsa and I'm just going to thin these down as much as I can with some nice lightning holes and to cut those holes rather than perhaps just using a scalpel to cut it out which I probably wouldn't do very neatly if I was going to do it like that I'm going to use these Bosch hole saws they're just wooden hole saws that uh, they make them in lots of different makes and you can just change them over from this holder now as you can see these have had a lot of use I recently fitted a kitchen and was um, drilling holes for pipe work and stuff so I've, they've had a lot of use but they're still quite sharp and if we take it easy with these ribs we can get nice smooth holes this is a, a hole I did earlier as a test piece it ends up a little bit raggedy on the back if it's the last one where it breaks out but you can just sand that a little bit and it'll look quite nice so what we're going to do is we're going to have some parameters first on how we're going to do these lightning holes so the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line through the center of the wing rib because what we want to do is we want to make sure that anything we do is symmetrical there's no point in just going down and, and perhaps having a big 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 piece on this side and a small piece on that side let's make sure we drill these out as accurately and as symmetrical symmetrically as we can now what I want to do is leave 10 mil on the top of the hole either side and 10 mil uh, at the side of the uh, the central spars I don't want to take the sides any thinner than that I have seen ARFs where they've gone down to about five six mil really thin but I, I would like to thin this down but also retain a little bit of the resilience so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this in uh, in segments like that just 10 mil so we get a line, a cut line that we don't want to go beyond. And what I'll do when I've done this, I will join it all together and mark out where I want my uh, lines to go. So I'm just going to join these up now. And I'll do this around the whole rib and come back and look at it. Well, I've now marked up this, uh, this wing rib and I've got my 10 millimeter border all the way around and a 10 millimeter uh, standoff from these um, spars. So the cross hatch is fair game for me to, to lighten, to take out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my two hole saws to, uh, to work out exactly what I'm gonna take out. And I'm not gonna take all this out in one go. I think that would be too much. It needs to have some kind of bar in the middle. So to start with, now this is a, what is it, is it uh, 27 mil. So if we go 13 and a half mil in from this uh, no-go line, which is one, two, 13 and a half mil. So that is kind of our center point to put 
that to drill a hole. Now I'd like to quite extend that and make that a little bit bigger so I'm going to put another hole here and then we can join those up. So this I think I'm just going to put a, a mark there where I want it in line with. Now this is a 22 mil, I think if I can just find where it says. Yeah 22 mil. So if we go across there and that gives us 11 mil to there. Yeah. So now we've got our two reference points where we can drill our two lightning holes like that. And then we can use a scalpel to take out the material along there and along there so that we've got quite a nice curved lightning hole. We'll do that and then we'll come back and we'll have a look at whether there's room to do something here. And I think we will be taking out some more here but with the 22. In fact I tell you what let me mark that one up while I'm doing it and we can take that out so if we go 11 mil to there and once we've done these three holes we'll take that out and we'll have a look at whether we're going to put another hole in there and something at the back. So I will get this on the drill press with these hole uh, saws and get them cut out. Right, well, I've got all six ribs here and I've checked they're all the right way up so they should be right. We've got them held together with some pieces of quarter inch balsa that is just where the spars go just to make sure that they don't move around while we're putting these holes in. And I've got a piece of fairly hard scrap balsa which I'm going to drill through and it's a nice soft base for the uh, for the drill to break through on. And I'm going to do this on a fairly high speed to uh, I think I'll get a, a cleaner finish that way. And I really need to spend just a little bit of time just lining this up making sure that I'm going through nice and square. Okay, well that's looking quite nice, so we'll get that second one done. Right, I've now got the, the big holes done and we'll take these apart in a bit and just cut that out to uh, make that one bigger section. But I'm going to drill a, a smaller hole at the front here and a couple of smaller holes at the back here which I'll join up. And I'm going to be using these wood bits. They've got a, a pointed spike and they've got cutting edges uh, around the side here. Much better cut than if I'm using a, uh, a metal drill. So we'll get the rest of these holes holes cut in here. This is the 10 mil first and if I just align that up on the center line and get it far enough forward we should get quite a nice hole. And that just lifted those apart you could see just with a little bit of burring so we'll see what that's like anyway it might be better if I do these individually I would rather do them as a whole oh no they've come out they've come out fine by the look of it so I'll put these back together and we'll do those uh, back holes okay well I've now got all of my holes drilled and it's time to start cutting out the excess that we don't want between the holes but before I've done that, I've just gone on the sides where I know it's going to be retained because this side of the hole, the top side of this big hole here isn't, we're going to cut it out, but this bottom is. 
I'm just going through with one of my round sanding sticks and just smoothing off that and getting that as to a nice finish. And the same with this bit here, and the same with the others. I just, it's easier to sand them as a whole than to do them individually because they're kind of stronger. So anyway, let's get these apart and get them trimmed up. Right, we've got a little bit of swarf that's come through and just wedged between, but they look fairly neat holes, so I'm quite pleased about that. So what I'm going to be doing now is just using a ruler and a scalpel to join the sides. And just do these. Now we turn that round. Now, we could have taken out more than this, uh, we could have taken out less, but I think we've taken out a safe amount here because you are going to weaken the rib a little bit, but lightning holes don't weaken it that much, hopefully. <laughs> so, here we go. So now we have our lightened rib. You can see there's a little bit that needs sanding and I can just use my sanding stick. I probably need a a slightly smaller one if I just lean over but now we can just clean these up a little bit so that they look uh, look a little bit more professional and uh, I mean particularly with this rear one we could have gone gone back further here and uh, and taken even more out but that's made quite a quite a difference to that rib I think so I'm going to get the rest cut out cleaned up and we'll come back and we'll have a look at them Right, well, I've now got these ribs finished and I'm really pleased with how they're looking. They've turned out really well. And you can see yourselves just how nice and clean that is. I mean, we could have taken out more, but I think that's enough really. And we've probably taken out a good 20, 30, maybe 35% of the balsa. And it won't make a huge difference, just these ribs alone. But when I start lightening the fins and the wing tips, it all adds up and it all makes a difference. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this process and I know that there are people watching this now who probably are saying you could do that with a CNC machine or a laser printer, a laser cutter. Well yes you could but where's the fun in that? And seriously there are people like myself who just like doing things by hand, they like the process and there are others who don't have the money or the inclination to start learning. So I hope you find this video useful and interesting and it inspires you to uh, to perhaps lighten some of your own ribs and, and other components that you're using to build your models. So before I draw this video to a close I've just got one thing left to say and that is Jeff my wing is going to be so much faster than yours. Now it's all lightened and streamlined, so bring it on. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching.